Yo, what's up guys? My name is Slappy. On today's video, I'm gonna try one app which a lot of people ask me to use it. Razer Cortex supposed to be an app who help you getting more FPS, boosting your PC and optimizing whenever you use this app. So that's supposed that you will get more FPS while you are playing any game. But we don't know about this app, so what we're gonna do is test Razer Cortex. I'm gonna show you how to download, how to use it correctly, and some tips to get more FPS without use any program. So let's start with the video. I will appreciate a lot if you use the code SLAPPY in the Fortnite item shop. There are new items so you can buy it and you support me using the code SLAPPY. Remember that I am doing a giveaway when we reach 100 supporters so don't forget to use code SLAPPY. Ok so the first thing that we need to do is know how to download Razer Cortex. In the description I'm gonna give you the link of the Razer Cortex app. What you need to do is really simple. So you can see you can use it on Windows 10, 8 and 7. So click on download now now you need to install it so i'm going to install it click on yes as you can see it's saying if you want to install the synapse but this time i'm just going to install only the razor cortex so you can change the location of the program if you want over here the size is 200 megabytes so i'm going to install it okay so as you can see it says congratulations please sync to your razor id so i'm gonna get start as you can see it's opening right now so you need to you can continue as guest, singing up, or choose login. I'm gonna log in because I have my account. Okay, so it's opening, I already load. As you can see, optimize game when you choose one click, and that's it. So, as you can see, show me all the games that I have. Now I'm going to test before everything, I mean, before I do any change with the Razer Cortex, so you can see the difference between this FPS and boosted according to, to Razer Cortex. I'm gonna land over here like I usually do. I'm gonna reduce the volume because it's really high and I'm gonna test what's going on. Maybe we earn more FPS. So to make it to make this more fair, I'm gonna restart my PC and I'm gonna show the difference between this one and the Razer Cortex. So when I'm gonna start to use Razer Cortex, I'm gonna restart the PC and now I'm gonna restart the PC again. So let's try it. Okay, so now we're here. I'm what I'm gonna do is try to focus the whole performance on game so I'm gonna put this all of this activated as you can see it's laggy a bit because we're trying to focus the performance on, a, on the game now I'm going to this boost prime means that if you pay you will earn like uh, boost more FPS now I'm going to system booster click on a scan as you can see it's lagging so far maybe because uh, it's focused all the power on Fortnite that click on it says that we need to optimize optimize it okay back my rig here you will see my specification of my pc so i'm going to game buster so i'm going to just go to fortnite okay as you can see we're on fortnite right now so i'm gonna see if we can get the same fps so as you can see i am here it's supposed to be boosted right now so maybe we get same or even less fps i don't know so on this time you're gonna see what is the difference if we really reach more fps with this boost racer cortex okay guys this is my opinion i'm watching right now and i only see the difference of both which one of them have like two gigabyte less of ram it's not the big deal but for the people which want to reduce the ram usage it's really good if you want to use it of course but as you can see we have actually like the same fps the same usage of the gpu and cpu so it's not like the big deal you use this app even you get like five fps less than the other one so now what i'm gonna do is try to give you some advice to get more fps they're really simple if you want to make me make a whole video about how to boost your fps and how to get better response on your fortnite just let me know in the comment section and i will try to bring a video completely concerned about boost fps okay so first of all you need to see how much the secondary apps do you have as you can see i have steam which i don't use it onedrive spotify origin real bandware lively wallpaper and the razor cortex stuff one thing that you need to do 
firstly is do this close all the apps that you are not using right now like cortex i'm not using it close spotify i'm gonna close origin i'm gonna close steam and i'm gonna close this course now as you can see all the apps that i'm using is wooting and the lively wallpaper that's gonna help you to get more fps because there's no secondary programs running in the in the background another advice that i can give you is really simple go to settings now go to gaming here you will go to game mode activate the game mode and click on graphic settings once here what you need to do is put your game when i'm saying game you need to click on browser now here you need to go through your localization of your fortnite on my case i have another disc so you need to go to epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win 64 and now you will find the real game you need to put the more heavy which is 166 megabytes so click on it as you can see it says that it's already added now you need to click on the game as you can see here now click on options and put the high performance that's gonna help you to focus the whole performance on just fortnite other advice that i can give you is once you are on your desktop yeah now you need to click right in the start click on system once you're on system, you need to click on advanced system settings. Now you need to click on settings. And as you can see, I have the visual effects on custom. You need to put them. I choose for the best performance, but I usually have uh, activated the show thumbnails instead icons to see the icons of your desktop. Also, you need to click on advanced and the processor schedule you need to put on programs. Also, the virtual memory, you need to put at least 20 gigabytes. My case, as you can see, I have 20 of 20 that will help you a lot i usually put on 20 gigabyte or 30 gigabyte so you can choose whatever both are good once you put click on apply then okay okay now you are you can get a bit more of fps and that's it there's not a whole video how to get more fps because if you want to make me as i said before if you want to make me do a video completely concerned about how to boost fps just let me know in the comment section because i'm now just testing the razer cortex in my opinion i just know four apps which real work to get more fps no more no less because others just try to make you feels better but it doesn't work i don't know if razer cortex work but before i try it and i don't see any different that could be because i got good pc but that doesn't mean you don't need to try it try it maybe you get some fps maybe five two three i don't know in my opinion the best way to optimize your pc is don't have a lot of shit on your pc and try to get a good pc if you want to play any game without problems so i think this is all for this video i hope you guys enjoy and see you later